So there's something that drops in the market and every time it drops, it always yields some crazy gains for the people who get involved early. And right now it's going to happen twice. Let's get it. Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host, Jay, and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the Bitcoin market. I want to talk to you about the total two and how it is holding some very crazy levels. I haven't updated you guys on my analysis on the market in a while because the last video that I put up about seven days ago is still exactly what I'm looking at. I also want to talk to you guys about Sunday Swap and Post uh, X so that you can try to get in early and take advantage of what AMMs have to offer. So if you're excited about that, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new here, and let's just get right into it. So first things first, let's go through this market analyst real quick. Fear and greed at 24, so that ain't changed. Bitcoin right now, holding these very critical levels the first level that we need to hold that we've been holding up is this first green line right here that's 41k um, let's call it 41.5 and um, that's the main level that i've kind of been watching right there if we drop below this level it's going to look ugly now the lowest level on this chart was 39,640 bucks we bounced about directly to there and we've been holding that level ever since now what's interesting about where we bounced at there was a lot of confluence here with the resistance lines and the support lines and all that stuff but we bounced exactly where we needed to bounce and we're holding that level um this trend that we're in right now is a downward you know it's a downtrend of course but it is a bullish pattern that usually has a 68 percent chance of breaking out to the upside the reason why i have this green line here is because that will be the target if we break out to the upside of this trend and manage to get above this box now we have up until january 30th for this trend to basically end right here if it doesn't end by january 30th and it bounces on this line here we'd have to extend this and say bitcoin is going to hit the next level uh after it breaks out of this trend and that would be at least 35k um which is this red line right here if we break so uh, if you didn't watch my last video with my analysis i was saying i feel like once we break uh 39k to the downside um we're going to 30k easy no ifs ands buts about it but we break out of this thing to the upside we're going to 58k um yeah not trying to say that i know the future but that's what these charts are telling me right now all i'm seeing is hey we're holding this green line these three lines right here are very crucial as we break these lines i get more and more worried and this last uh 39k level is my last uh level of hope right there but we bounced exactly where we needed to it's looking good we did that just recently um you know over here we're getting a higher high I mean, we're getting a higher low so far. And the reason why this red line is so critical to me, because if we break this, then we're going to be heading for um, a lower low. And that will be like an, a bigger macro downtrend. Right now, we've just been having a downtrend since November. Looking at the total two, very similar to Bitcoin, very similar patterns, holding this very important level, a bunch of confluence where we needed it to be at, a bunch of support where we needed it to be at, and we're holding those levels but things are still going down there are other things going on in the macro climate of the whole financial market that could have potential to bring everything down with it or to bring everything up with it for example the fed tapering just means that the fed is going to hold less assets so for those who don't know the fed started buying up a whole bunch of assets when um coronavirus hit in order to help the economy um, people are blaming inflation on that. So they're going to have to sell some of those um, assets. And that usually has a bad um, result on the market. Now, I did some research and I found out and noticed that last time we had a bear market in 2017, 2018, um, the Fed started tapering off a bunch of assets. So if they start tapering off again, I have no doubt in my mind that that would that would hurt all of the markets going across. Um, so if they start doing that, that that would be pretty bad. 
but um, they announced that they were going to start doing that Q2, Q3, and my thoughts are everybody involved might be trying to go for one last hoorah before we have our little bear time. So that's just some of my thoughts on the overall macro climate of the markets right now, because that's pretty interesting that that's what's happening. And then we have these charts that look like they want to pop to the upside one last time. Pretty, pretty interesting. Now, I talked about there being something that happens and whenever it happens, it always yields some pretty nice gains. And that is this. Whenever a project drops their main net, um, especially what a decentralized project, let's just say when a decentralized project launches their main net, they usually have to have some type of uh, money market. They have to have an AMM. They usually have an Oracle They you know, with DeFi or decentralization you usually have these main things set in place. Now, what I'm thinking or what I'm talking about that always has at least a 10x or at least from what I looked across is the AMMs. Now, getting into the AMMs early is always a 10x quick swap, spooky swap, Uniswap, uh, yeah, Trader Joe, all these coins did a 10x because it is something that people need. As soon as that product comes online and people want to start using tokens on that, they need to buy the AMM. That's why I'm going to talk to you about two AMMs that haven't even released yet. And you can go ahead and try to get into those things early. So the first uh, AMM that I want to talk to you guys about is Pulse X from the Pulse chain and the Hex community. So if you don't know what Hex is, Hex is one of the most interesting projects in cryptocurrency. Also goes down in history as being my biggest mistake in crypto. And the reason why is it was a mistake is because I didn't believe in the tokens. I paid like crumbs for about 20 million of the tokens and then the token went to about 70 cent and I sold it for about two thousand dollars so it goes down in history as one of my biggest mistakes in crypto um, it's also a censored cryptocurrency because it should be maybe in the top five at least I believe based on market cap and it's not on coin gecko or coin market caps you have to actually go to no mix to find it so you come over here to Nomix and then you will see that Hex is number 10 at 20 cents with a market cap of $27 billion. I believe the all time high of this coin is somewhere around 70 cents. <sighs> My biggest mistake in crypto. I was staking about 14 million of these coins when the big payday. So Hex, what Hex is, it's a certificate of deposit um, smart contract um that's on top of ethereum and what pulse x is trying to do pulse x is trying to basically do a whole clone of ethereum and make ethereum better that's the goal of richard hart that's what he says he wants to do is make ethereum faster and cheaper by creating a direct clone now anybody involved with the pulse x will get every single token that's in your wallet cloned over you will get the post x version of post x this is why this is going to be a very interesting experiment in the crypto space that's what's going to happen on pulse chain you're going to get every single coin that you hold on ethereum airdropped in the post x version so that's going to be very interesting i encourage people to get involved with the pulse x now the pulse x is going to be the amm on top of the pulse chain platform and the first thing i want to point out about it is that there's almost a billion dollars so far that people have sacrificed into getting pulse x started now what this sacrifice is basically you're sending some crypto in order to get some pulse x chains hopefully airdropped for you now the wording is hopefully the wording is sacrificed because they don't want to get in trouble with the sec they don't want to run this thing like an ico so all the wording has to be hey you can be expecting to get a return on this um looking at the numbers there might be a return on it but you can't be expecting it but what i think is interesting is that you have this is legit money already sacrificed into the smart contract there's half a billion dollars in hex 200 million of ethereum 100 million in usdc 40 million in tether 5 million in die 3 million in polygon actually in this smart contract to build this platform now the only time i seen a project that had um this much um interest in it before it actually dropped was polka dot so post x will be pretty interesting you have a lot of people from the hex community who are in as you can see but the sacrifice for it is still live right now if you want to throw some crypto away in hopes of getting some gains 
notice the wording um, if you want to throw some crypto away in, in hopes of getting some gains you come to this pulsex.info you can send it from ethereum binance smart chain polygon avalanche whatever and that will make you eligible for this airdrop that's going on now you can come through here and do more research and figure out exactly how much you're going to get the sacrifice rate the points um what they're going to do with the money because they are doing some charities and stuff like that um and how this whole thing works if you're interested in it i will put this in the description um this sacrifice rate is going to change in four days so af uh, every four days right now you're going to get less and less so that's why i tried to um bring it as, as quick as possible but the last day that you'll be able to sacrifice will be february 25th so definitely do your research on PulseX and the Pulse chain because it's going to be a very interesting experiment, in my opinion, in this whole crypto space and to see how it goes. Now, the thing I know about crypto for sure is that when people start experimenting, it starts making some people a lot of money sometimes. So, you know, this is not financial advice, but sometimes you can look into that. And being that AMMs have a history of having good gains getting into one and trying to get those tokens early before everybody else starts actually using it might be a smart idea so the next one that i want to talk about is a little bit less risky in my opinion because it is on a platform that more people know about so this is cardano so so cardano is the number six cryptocurrency 44 million dollar market cap and what they're trying to do is be a better ethereum just like all the other cryptocurrencies um so they're trying to be a better ethereum and they don't have an amm yet there are tokens some pretty um legitimate tokens that are switching over to cardano Cardano, and this is one of the things that made me uh, look back into Cardano because little backstory real quick Cardano is taking forever to release their smart contracts right but they're doing it in a, a way where they have to get it like uh, peer approved they're doing academic studies and all this stuff so it's taking them a little bit longer to actually release their product because they're saying hey once we release it we don't want to have to change too many things after we don't want to have to be like ethereum and do like a complete overhaul upgrade which is going to make some people go i don't really know about that but I say that to just say Cardano's taking a long time and some people have jumped ship because they've seen other things moving faster but um there are coins that i like and other people who are that i respect who are actually saying cardano is going to allow them to do some amazing things and one of those is agi um they switched over to cardano saying hey cardano is the only platform that's going to allow us to do what we need to do with artificial intelligence in order to reach singularity so that is pretty cool to see but sunday swap is going to be the first amm on top of cardano so in my opinion from history we i think sunday swap will probably do good numbers for a couple reasons they're going to be the first decks on top of cardano if cardano drops and their smart contracts actually get released this is going to create a catalyst for any sunday token and also the cardano token to be bought up and used for liquidity pools to be used for staking and stuff like that so definitely something to look into now coming to this article that they dropped on the website key dates and takeaways thursday january 20th tomorrow sunday swap will launch a fully functional uh beta decentralized exchange dex <laughs> this is very funny wording this is why cardano is a little bit eh. fully functional beta beta means not fully functional to me it's like a test but whatever fully functional dex exchange uh coming on our on uh cardano it's in beta because cardano is not complete yet um but that's coming tomorrow then they have on tuesday the first round of the iso rewards will be calculated iso participants must delegate ada to qualify as iso scoopers basically you're going to be staking and then delegating your coins to these nodes and it's going to get you eligible for some of this token and then they have the yield farming drops tomorrow as well now now, me personally i might use some of my cardano tokens to yield farm this so i don't have to buy any sunday tokens i can just uh stake you know some of the tokens in in the farm and and get get some uh some sunday token that way so i'll put this in the description um because again it is just a new amm that's going to be built on top of cardano cardano doesn't have an amm yet cardano doesn't have a mainnet release yet these are all catalysts for this thing to have some pretty nice games going forward um so let me know what you guys think about 
the Sunday swap. Let me know what you guys think about post chain. Let me know what you guys think about this market. Do you think we're going to dump into a bear market and we're not going to even have a chance to enjoy any of these new AMMs coming along trying to give us um, some more gains? So like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you are not subscribed to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box of anything you would like me to talk about, make a video about, um, you have questions and stuff like that. If you want to get into my Telegram group emails, shoot me an email and I got you. Um, check out my website, all that good stuff. Um, go follow Hula Girls on Twitter. Till next time, peace.